I'll be talking about uh, infrastructure as a code, uh, you know, how to build Azure applications with ARM templates. This was already included in MS uh, Build 2020. And uh, you are seeking ARM Niloshima basically. I, I have uh, close to 11 years of experience with uh, uh, with, uh, with Microsoft technology stack, Azure, in, and I'm a multi-cloud architect. I recently did my, uh, you know, cert certification of Azure as well. So I'm a certified Azure architect along with AWS too. I have, um, I have to cover all these uh, things in my agenda. So I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm not, uh, you know, doing a quick, uh, I'll be basically doing a quick introduction. So that, that's it. That's it. That was it from my side. We'll be covering infrastructure as a code. We'll understand the concept. What are, what is infrastructure as a code? What are the ARM templates? Then uh, I'll also cover what in all uh, sections which were uh, which were announced as part of Build 2020, and uh, we'll do a, a simple blank template deployment, you know, in, in Azure via PowerShell, and, uh, and and I'll show you how it is done. So infrastructure as a code is basically uh, you know a way to manage your infrastructure. To manage your infrastructure means whatever infrastructure you are going to create in Azure, be it virtual machine, be it network, load balancers, containers, your connection to topology, what in all virtual networks you are using, what would be the address space, subnet, everything, you know, you can uh, do it in a descriptive way, right? So this, this enables us basically to, uh, you know, to uh, to solve that problem of in you know uh, environment drift in uh, the release uh, pipeline. So uh, let's say if we have uh, something, you know, uh, let's say if we have some requirements and we have to, or or I should give you a more uh, simple example, which which we, which should be uh, you know if I have to deploy 20 virtual machine or 200 virtual machines, let's say, so you don't want to go ahead. To the overhead of you know logging into your portal, doing it and you know doing it, creating it one by one, and then moving ahead to you know in the end uh, by nth hour you will be able to deploy your 200th virtual machine. So infrastructure as a code gives you a flexibility in using which you will be able to you have a common template with you. Using that template, you can tweak that template. I'll show you how that template looks now. But you can tweak that template, and by tweaking that template, you can basically deploy a number of resources, a number, you know, and type of resources. You can deploy almost everything from your uh, file, uh, you know, from your template file. And the specific format of the, yeah, that template file is as of now JSON. But uh, in build 2020, uh, language revision was also been announced as an, as an, you know, as a feature of uh, these templates. So. <clears throat> This is basically a key DevOps practice, and it is it is more or less used in continuous delivery, uh, you know, continuous delivery portion of that uh, DevOps, uh, the whole umbrella, right? So, <clears throat> what uh, I was I was talking about templates, right? So those templates are nothing but Azure Resource Manager templates. So Azure Resource Manager templates are basically a way. You know, to declare the object, you you would you would want to you know uh, uh, you would want to create the name and the properties in a specific JSON file, and you can basically uh, manage this JSON file, uh, check it in your uh, source control, be it TFS, be it uh, SPN or uh, Git. So it gives you the ability to basically create. Uh, your resources in a declarative syntax, right? You can get repetitive result. You can also orchestrate it. You can you can have modular files. You can create any resource, and that is very immediately, right? You also have a feature uh, in it, which is which has recently introduced uh, for public preview in Build 2020, which is called deployment script. We'll talk about that, but that deployment script give you a flexibility of extensibility you can add partial and uh, uh, and you know bash scripts to your templates your templates are going to extend the ability to set up the resources during the deployment right apart from it you can test these azure resource uh, manager templates and there are uh, there are a couple of more uh, you know features available which are in preview we'll cover that uh, 
something like what if something like uh, you know arm um, ttk that is basically a template testing toolkit <clears throat> so so it, it it is a whole it is a whole new area uh, you know which you can explore you can you can do it sitting on your machine you just have to you know log into your azure account via parshell or cli or bash bash command prompt and then you you will be able to just create the resources manipulate the resources create a number of resources you can create almost everything here you can create databases you can create linux web apps you can create uh, virtual machines you can create storage accounts you can you can create container so everything uh, you can think of you are you will be able to create it from this single json file and you will be able to deploy it in azure so that's how arm templates work so uh, and uh, one 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 more uh, you know very interesting thing here uh, thing is here that your you can deploy either uh, already you know there are there are certain quick start sample templates available over the github this is the url if you would like to uh, i mean I, i'll share this url at the end of the uh, the this session so this quick start templates have a lot a lot of uh, you know uh, a template sample templates available you can use them and what happens in the background is that you you template you you know you you submit your one resource manager template and that that uh, that basically is deployed in under a resource group which is which is which is part of your subscription so that template can have 20 resources that template can have a single resources a single resource it it may be that depends on your requirement right so this this whole you know uh, this whole portion of azure enables us to uh, you know enables us as an admin people as well you can you can provide that template uh, if you are an architect in you know in, if you are an architect if you are a cloud architect you can create that template give it to your admin folks they can basically you know just run it and you will be able to see the output so that's how that's how uh, it is done and the management part of it is really 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 easy so couple of couple of changes uh, you know couple of announcement which was uh, which was done in uh, in in uh, you know in build 2020 deployment script is basically one of one of those uh, you know uh, one of those portion i'm not sure where why my image is not here but uh, yeah uh, i'll i'll show you how it looks right So deployment script are <clears throat> you, you you use uh, you know deployment script are basically all about helping you to complete your last minute changes of your deployment using you know your partial uh, as your partial I mean Windows partial or Bash script you can also you can also incorporate your your changes your uh, deployment script via Azure Cloud Shell as well. so this this uh, public uh, it was already in uh, you know private preview from i think a uh, uh, couple of months but public preview was announced in uh, ms build 2020 like i have mentioned it supports azure cli you can use parshell and bash whatever whatever you know in in whatever uh, uh, language you are comfortable interacting with it you can read output you can create logs you can read uh, logs as well here that and that that specific sort of support is also been provided uh, by microsoft using uh, you know all three uh, deployment methodology of creating a resource in in azure portal right so you can you can use partial again you can use cli you can use uh, portal here there are a couple of benefits which uh, which i would like to mention here very quickly is that it is easy to code you can you can and it is easy to debug it is easy to use as well you can develop your deployment script and you know in in you know in in whatever your if you are uh, comfortable with visual studio code you can do it there if you are comfortable with you know notepad plus plus you can do it there as well you just have to maintain the extension there apart from it you know uh, you can specify a particular scripting language and platform you can also specify the identities that are you know going to execute these scripts by identity i mean it is basically uh, i i think uh, as of now azure is permitting user assign managed identity so 
Well, what that means is basically you can integrate your AD here. You can integrate your identity and access control management portion of your AD here. Apart from it, it allows uh, you know passing of command line arguments to that particular script. You can pass command line arguments. You can specify script outputs. You can and you know and and pass them back to the deployment. So that's how that's how deployment scripts come handy. You can add user. Uh, let's say if you have a scenario where you would like to add deployment script, something like if you if you would like to you know add user to a directory, or probably create an object in Azure AD, something like that. Or maybe you if you would like to you know look up the IP address uh, from custom system. So deployment script will give you the you know uh, the 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 capability where you can uh, review your execution results as well, right? So. That's pretty much all about deployment script. There's one more interesting thing which has, which was being introduced in um, Azure uh, uh, MS Build uh, 2020 with respect to ARM templates was basically ARM TTK. This is called Azure Resource Manager Template Testing Toolkit. So, what does it do? It it is basically you know it is basically a static code analyzer for your specific ARM template. Uh, what do I mean by static code analyzer? It, uh, I, I'm basically, if I would like to test my ARM, you know, if I would like to test my ARM template, how should I do it, right? Let's say uh, if I would like to test the schema of my ARM template, how would I do that? So that flexibility was not part, you know, not, not basically provided earlier. Uh, it is announced in Ignite, but a public preview is available, uh, and uh, you get a very beautiful, uh, you know, Visual Studio Code extension as well. I'll show you that. I'll, I'll just quickly, you know, uh, show you. You have you have a, a basically uh, a dedicated uh, repository of uh, this ARM TTK. You can raise a ticket as well. You can you can you can just say that uh, if if you are doing some unit testing or if you are doing some any sort of testing and you found any bug. You can basically go ahead and raise that bug here. So that is that is what uh, uh, flexibility is provided by Microsoft to for, for us to interact with ARM, um, uh, you know, TTK. It is basically uh, as of now it is an open source partial library that is used, you know, to if you would like if you would like to run a couple of test cases. So that partial library is used to validate the template against those test cases, right? Uh, Test cases can be if you would like to check that uh, you know your output does not contain any 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 string which is which is supposed to be a secret string something like password like something like administrator password or uh, probably if you would like to check that your template does not con do not contain any blank values so these are the things which you know which are uh, sorry very uh, very which which comes very handy handy when you are basically working. Uh, you know, in in IAC environment, in infrastructure as a code environment, right? So apart from it, there was uh, there was one more very interesting thing which was introduced in um, you know in uh, build 2020, which was basically what if. So what if is uh, what if is basically a way to let you see how your resources will behave if you deploy the template. Earlier the scenario was uh, you know. Uh, the, uh, earlier, the scenario was that if I have to test my template, I have to deploy it. Uh, let's say in in, in my some uh, you know other subscription, I used to test deploy it, and then I won't be able to uh, you know uh, then I will only be able to see that that how my deployment looks like. Now, this specific uh, feature uh, does not change anything in that in in that existing resource which I would want to deploy on Azure. It basically predicts the changes, you know. Uh, you know, it, it basically predicts the changes. It lets us know that what will happen if I deploy that specified template, right? So you can use uh, what if with um, PowerShell. You can use what if with Azure CLI, and a REST API operations are also, uh, you know, provided to us. <clears throat> so what happens here? Let's say uh, if I would like to, uh, this is this is basically a sample example. So let's say if you would like to preview changes before deploying any any template, right? So you, uh, this is this is the PowerShell CMD list. So how do you do it? You say new hyphen easy resource group deployment and hyphen what if. 
so what if is basically can be used in 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 two levels you can use what if in sub as you know for your subscription level deployment or your resource group level deployment more or less you would uh, um uh, i think you would use what if on resource group level uh, more because uh, more or less each and every resources which you are going to create in azure is, is going to be associated with some of the other resource group right so that that's there there is one more interesting part here in what if uh which was which was basically announced in uh, uh in build 2020 was uh you know a confirm feature is it uh, you can use hyphen confirm in place of that what if new az new hyphen az resource group deployment hyphen confirm what confirm does is basically uh, you can uh, it is going to preview the changes and get and it will ask you you know it it will display a prompt that you would like to continue with the deployment or not so if I, if i have to uh, you know deploy i'll be just uh, if i have to deploy something on resource group level i'll be just saying new az resource group deployment hyphen confirm so it will execute the what if it will it will predict the changes for me and then it will ask me that uh, do you want to deploy i'll if i'll say yes it is sort of a confirmation box if i'll say yes it will proceed with that right so it's not basically a ui based thing you it will ask you to you know to to enter how you how you are going to interacting with your terminal probably yes or no or why or n that that sort of details it will ask uh, there is a there is a whole repository available a dedicated repository available which will which is which is basically talk talks about uh, you know uh, the issues the enhancement which which microsoft is doing uh related to the uh, what if portion of arm templates right so i'll 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 show you that repository as well now let's quickly touch base the uh, you know visual studio code extension so visual studio code extension uh, we all know that uh, visual studio is available uh, is available for free you can install it so uh, microsoft has provided with uh, us with a Uh, you know an, an arm template extension and you know an, an azure resource manager template extension this provide language support this provide resource uh, you know snippet intellisense to help you to create and validate your arm templates you can download it from this link and uh, you can you also get a couple of uh, you know quick start templates i'll 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 quickly you know show you all the links which i have i have uh, you know added here in the in, in my slides So that you can just go ahead and have a look with them. So, apart from it, uh, Microsoft gives us a whole set of ARM templates, a whole you know, a, a brand new examples like how to create a resource if if that resource is a storage account. So there 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 has to be a template in in this particular GitHub repository. Let's say if you would like to deploy um, an SQL, uh, you know, something like some database, a Cosmos DB database. So there is a template for that. you can just go ahead and refer that template if you are well versed enough to create your own template you can just go ahead and do that as well so that's how that's how you know you are going to use those templates now let me quickly you know show you the show you the i uh, you know uh, links which i was talking about so this is this is basically a link which uh, which has the quick start template right so it it talks it has the blank template if if you if you would like to have the dos attack prevention template that is also there if you would like to you know this this talk about uh, virtual networks this talk about kubernetes this talk about uh, you know uh, container engine in form this talk about azure kubernetes cluster this talks about uh, you know this, this this template is all about app app functions this is app configuration application gateways automation availability sets api management as your bastion a lot of things you can you are, you are able to see that this is like hundreds of templates right so i'll just quickly show you uh, how to uh, you know go through with these so let's take aks this is this is your uh, you know this is your template this is your azure deploy dot json this is basically responsible for deploying the resource what i'm going to do i'll 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 show you a template uh, JSON, which I have, I have created uh, for deploying, a, you know, a, a resource, a virtual machine in in in, in Azure, right? So templates come, uh, you know, they they come with uh, two flavor. One is the uh, 
the template itself which has the you know which has the capability of getting deployed in azure and other other thing like you know uh, we get along with the template is basically the parameters what are the parameters which you would like to deploy the values of those uh, you know those fields which you would like to deploy so that's there um like i was showing you this is this is the sample template right so i this this does not have no rocket science here you are just simply uh, giving uh, some values these are the parameters this this should uh, you know this is this is basically your format so location would be of string your network and i your network interface should be of you know of type string your security group should be of type string your virtual network what what would be the type of the value which you would be providing something like that right <clears throat> these are the variables these this these i mean these variable section talk about you know what and all id you would be using so your your id would be something like microsoft uh, uh, dot dot net uh, forward slash network security group and the and you will you will you will uh, you know your values will be integrated concatenated from the parameters file so that's how you know uh, you will be uh, you will you will you'll have to understand and this is a simple json file you can just see that the name is uh, you while creating the resources what is happening the first thing which is getting created is your network up then uh, you know post creating your network you have you know your resource have been assigned a public ip address then your virtual machine has been created right something like that this is this is uh, you know i i have i have i was basically creating it from a sample you know windows 10 virtual machine so this is what this is uh, you know this this is what uh, it is it is saying that it is saying that create option is basically from an image what is the storage account type i have i have i made sure that i am not attaching any volume to it just the operating system disk so storage uh, account type is my operating system disk then it also talks about uh, this is my image difference by the way it is a windows windows desktop windows 10 is there this is the sku and this is the the version whatever the latest version is there i'll i'll be getting that this is the operating system profile this is the diagnostic profile and this this section is uh, you know it it talks about the the you know the storage and related details right so if 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 you would like to have diagnostic enabled you will be basically uh, you should have a, a diagnostic storage account associated to it to it so the, here you can see my diagnostic boot diagnostic is enabled so that is the reason this 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 portion is here so this is basically your template now parameter is something which which has the value in it so i uh, like i have shown you everything has to be in string so location is central us your network uh, you know your network interface name is uh, is it again in string this is the network security group which has been created this is these are couple of the rules which i i want i want this since this is a windows machine i would want it to use it via rdp so the, that is that is there then the subnet virtual network name the address prefixes the subnet details this is the public ip which is which i have got you know which which i can so what i'm doing basically i just took this template and i'm filling the values here this should be the name of my virtual machine this should this should be the resource group under which i would want my virtual machine to be created right this is this should be the you know diagnostic uh, storage account name which i would want uh, uh, you know this this template to be created right so that is how that is how you uh, you basically understand what are what are templates and what templates can do for you now let me quickly you know show you uh, the uh let let me let me quickly show you the visual studio plugin for arm tools so this is this is basically your visual studio plugin you know uh, uh, for arm tools this is uh, this is that if you would like to install it and you can you can you know uh, uh, basically create your templates from visual studio as well a lot of help is available like you can see it's a language server you can you can you can create parameters file there are a couple of snippets available which you which you would be using in when you'll be creating your uh, deployment uh, when you'll be doing your deployment intellisense is available and 
the support is available for you know all these you know other features you can just go to definition you can peek into it you can rename it using f2 so a lot of you know if you are hands on with visual studio code it is it is it is basically very it will it will come very handy if you would like to you know create your arm templates and if you you know use it use uh, you know them to deploy it so that's there uh this is the i have already shown you this is the quick start sample now i just want to show you uh something on um what if let me see if i if i get anything so now okay let me you know let me uh, simply show you uh, uh, a sample template that how what if works so So let me open my Visual Studio Code, new file, and that is how you know you will write your what if syntax. I would want to you know unregister my PowerShell repository, so you will have to uh, you know you will have to give that this is this should be the name here, and this is how you will use what if repository. So this what this you know this command will do is basically it will it will it will go ahead and unregister the what if repository. that you have used to install the preview something like that so this you know uh, prior using this command there has to be uh, you know uh, you have to you have to uninstall the az modules you have to you and, and for installing the az modules you must have az module installed in your you know in your machine so so that's there uh, i would like to show you the arm uh, ttk extension Uh, which was which was already announced we have already discussed what it was so like i was mentioning this is this is the basically arm ttk extension of uh, you know of your uh, uh, arm template and the, you can you can you can basically you can test it you can uh, you can test itself your uh, uh, your arm templates as well i was i was mentioning that there has to be a git repository for it so this is this is the git repository for arm template uh, you know uh, toolkit it has been moved to here you can just see here what how to use that how can you how can you contribute how can what what's the idea behind you know creating this uh, this ttk what these are couple of unit tests which you know which which microsoft has already provided uh, provided to us you know you have if you would like to you know check about i was like i was mentioning your output must not contain any secret something you know your output must not contain any any anything which is which is password right so you can just go ahead and see this is this is the json uh, this this should be the fail sorry this should be the fail fail test cases and you know you can also go ahead and check the past test cases as well right past test cases uh, uh, are again they they have you can you can contain custom list so these are basically various flavors in which you can test your um uh arm template right so having said that what i'm going to do i will be quickly you know creating uh this a uh, blank template in uh, in azure portal so that you can just you you can just see how it looks so as of now you can see this is this is my azure portal and i do not have anything no resource group uh, is basically uh, you know uh, is basically uh, used or created here this is this is a default my cloud shell storage let me go ahead and uh, open our shell here and i'm going to do az login i'm using cli command It is asking me to sign into my account. I'll say, I'll pick my subscription, and I am logged in. It will, you know, this will give me the details of my subscription, who is the tenant, and you know, related stuff. My subscription ID, 
what what type of subscription I'm am I am I you know I'm using. I'm quickly going to create a, a resource group. I'm saying AZ group create hyphen hyphen name. Let's name it AZ and S R G. And I would like to deploy it in let's essentially this. So this is how you create a you know a resource group here. Let me just go ahead and quickly check. Do I have any resource group which is created here? This is the same subscription, right? Provisioning status succeeded. Um, see, this is my ZNS RG resource. It does not have anything. And if, did I do any deployment here? No, there are no deployments. So this this is the basic, you know, basic uh, uh, basic command uh, to which you will create a resource group. Now, creating a resource group, uh, as I've said, is important. What I'm doing here is that I'm using this uh, blank template, right? So this template can have anything. I can I can go ahead and use my you know my this this sort of template to deploy uh, you know my JSON uh, my like my like my virtual machine I can just go ahead and basically download uh, uh, you know download any 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 template from the GitHub repository and you know customize it under my requirement. For now, I'll be using uh, this Azure deploy dot uh, JSON template. This is basically uh, here in my H drive in the Azure Resources uh, Manager folder, right? So. I'll show you. This is this is where uh, this is you know this template is located as of now. What I'm going to do, I'll quickly go to my partial window and I will I will basically try to deploy this blank template there. So to deploy, you have to write the command az deployment group. Then you have you are creating a deployment group. I'm saying name. Mm, Something like blank would like to give a resource hyphen group. I've just created a resource group. The name was AZNSRG. And now, post doing that, I would like to give my template hyphen. File. Now that template file has to, uh, you know, it should come from. I'm basically uh, telling my PowerShell that go ahead and copy this file. You know, refer this file to create uh, your your template. So basically, what I'll be doing is be, uh, I'll be, you know, copying and pasting this path there. So this is my template, and enter. I resource manager valid argument. Okay, there's a space. So this is basically going into your, you know, your subscription to which you have logged in here. Finding that a particular resource group and creating a blank template for you. Once it is, you know, when this, this whole exercise will be done, you would be able to see your PowerShell window, you know, will tell you that what is the provisioning state of that particular resources which you are, you know, which you are creating using this particular template. So as of now, no resources aren't there, but a template has been created, right? So the, here, here you can see your provisioning state is succeeded, right? So this, this, this means that this template must be part of your uh, Azure resource group. You can just go ahead and check it here. Refresh it. Just 
just to let you know i have selected the location as central us there could be a little latency there so uh, be with me so you can see earlier when when we have you know created this resource group there was no uh, you know no uh, no deployments done now i can see that we have we have done a single deployment which is a blank temp right and my blank blank template is a simple uh, you know json file i can just go to resource group i can just check what and all i have done and you can just see that uh, this is this this much time it took this is this is when it is created and you know certain details along with that so i think um, that that's all from my side you can just go ahead and refer these uh, you know uh, these these links i'm so sorry you can just go ahead and refer these links of you know how to uh, of understanding what is infrastructure as a code how to create the resources what are deployment script what are uh, you know arm ttk uh, extensions you can basically install it in your machine and do it, uh, you know can just test your arm templates this is uh, and this is this is uh, where you know from where you would be installing your uh, azure resource manager extension thank you so much guys if you have any question please let me know and i'm here you can reach out to me uh, on my you know if you, if you have any question if i'm able to answer it here you can reach out to me on my social media i'm available at, on twitter as at niloshima and you can search for me on uh, you know on linkedin niloshima shrivastav is the name um uh, if you have any question please let me know else thank you so much guys for inviting me and thank you so much for being such a nice audience